Hey, let's say we have an electric car in the shop from this guy right here. Yep, Grant Lambert from Toronto. And we have an electric car here that's a 1983 Porsche 944. If you want to take a look inside the engine bay here. So we use lithium ion batteries. We have 50 cells in total. We left out one row on the top right here for now, just so we can see the motor. It's a 9 inch DC motor, a warp 9 motor from NetGain. If you pan up, this box here is the charger for the batteries. So, kind of like an alternator for a gas vehicle? Actually, no, no. That's just for the batteries themselves, and then the alternator is this box right here. So, basically, oh. it takes the voltage from this and downgrades it to charge the 12 volt battery. Oh, if that starts the car. So this is basically the alternator in a gas powered car. So it's an oh. electric alternator, oh. essentially. And then we use two odd cable here, which is, which is uh, pretty strong so that it doesn't overheat when we're running the car. And then over here on the right side, you have this uh, cylinder here, which is a vacuum pump reservoir. So oh. on a gasoline powered car, the engine creates a vacuum for the brakes. Oh, okay. So, but this, we have a pump that's underneath. It's a vacuum pump which fills this reservoir, so then you have some braking power. Obviously, when you have an electric car, you need alternate braking source. And if you want to walk over here, this is the throttle. Typically, it's called a pot box. And it's a little resistor. And we attach it to the original throttle of the car. And this car is five speed manual transmission. So we have it uh, tied into, the engine's tied into the transmission here. Transmission of this car is in the back. Oh, okay. Right, but the clutch and everything is in the front. So we had to make an adapter plate to tie the motor into the, to the car. <coughs> And this silver box back here is an 800 amp controller. It's built by Electrocraft, and this is uh, what controls the input of uh, the gas or electric power, so, which determines the speed and the power that yeah. it puts out. Yeah. So it's basically a voltage difference. <laughs> so what we did with this car is we wanted to make it really fun and light, really fast something faster than the original Porsche. Oh, okay. Because typically electric cars, you know, you build them to be economical. Yeah, and efficient, so they efficient, might not be as so fast. But... Usually they're slower, right? Yeah. But this car, we lightened it up, so as you can see from the interior, we stripped out everything. We took the carpets out. We even took out all the glue, which was like maybe 30 pounds. Wow. We got racing seats in here. So of course the gas tanks were moved. Yeah, obviously you see the gas cap spawned it over. Yeah. Original rims too? Yeah, everything's original. So the idea behind finding a car that you want to build into an electric vehicle is finding one that's in good condition. Yeah, not rotted too much. Yeah. So that way it'll last a long time. Here's where the gas cap was. Yeah. So we have plans to make the car all black. Oh, well, that'll look good. Yeah, carbon fiber hood. Again, keeping it light. Because what we did was we put all the batteries and engine in the front. Yeah. So when we did the calculations, we found that the weight distribution is similar to as it was before. Oh. So not to mess up any of the performance handling characteristics, but. At the same time, we didn't have to distribute the batteries along the whole car. Oh, yeah. This car has a really big engine base, so you can fit all the batteries and the motor in the front. Yeah. Well, they always had big motors in these. Yeah, really big. 2.5 liter. And there's an engine battery, man battery management system inside the car. You can see those, uh, those panels there. So each one of those battery boards will be hooked up to the batteries by a wire and that controls when they charge and when they discharge. So when they charge it won't allow an individual battery to overcharge 
Oh, okay. So okay, it'll basically... Doesn't that kill the batteries over charges? It is not good, yeah. And when it discharges, you'll have lights indicating that one of them is running low. You should get home and start charging your car. Oh. Which shouldn't happen. They should drain pretty evenly. But just in case, that's what this is for. So we got all original interior pieces too. So this used to be brown inside, but now we painted it black. Oh. Yeah, just to make it look a little nicer. <laughs> We're also gonna change the roof to uh, like a plastic glass. Oh, that'll be. So you can see up and uh, be lighter again. It'll be like a like a fish tank almost. Yeah. Looking out, the, look out the top. Yeah. So the car overall is about. 800 pounds lighter than it was originally. So it's only around 2100 pounds wow. complete. So it should be pretty quick. Oh, probably you drag racing with it. Yeah. That's a pretty sweet car there. We need to see that finish. Now here you have it. And here is when it's running, what it does. You can feel the vibration from that. Not so bad for the vibration. It's quiet too. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't see this drive, but maybe one day you will see it drive. That'd be pretty cool to see an electric Porsche. We need to see that finish. Now, here you have a YouTube channel, too. We have actually a website called Singular Motion EV. Yeah, uh, com. And we have a couple videos and pictures of progress on that, uh, that website along with our uh, information and what we're planning to do as a business. And basically that's just convert people's cars or help people convert their cars uh, in the future. Um, so yeah, just take a look at that website and you can see all the information. We have contact information as well.